Family, what is cracking? Welcome to my channel, Lillian Francis here. It is my goal to make Ableton Live as fun and chill to learn as possible. So I am stoked to have you here. Today we're gonna to be looking at how to create a round robin style sample playback situation using Ableton Simpler and Drum Rack. So what is a round robin sample playback situation? So round robin is a method of sample playback that allows us to trigger different versions of the same sample. So instead of just having one sample going boom, 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 sounding the exact same every single time, we can launch a sample and then have different variations being triggered instead of just one. So this allows us to create natural variations in what would otherwise be a relatively static pattern. So one excellent way to use round robins is with your hi-hats. So instead of just having one hi-hat being triggered every single time, we can set up a round robin situation so that we have a different hi-hat being triggered every time you trigger the sample. I'm sure you can find some more creative uses for this and comment below what you think of. So let's look into our Ableton Live and see how to do this. <gasps> Diving right in. <gasps> All right, so first things first, we are going to drag a drum rack onto... Yeah, my computer does that. First things first, we're gonna drag a drum rack onto our MIDI track here, and then we're gonna create a nested drum rack for the little drum rack birds. So grab this drum rack, place it down here, ta-da! Now we can drag and drop our samples into here. So I'm going to go to my drums, drum hits, I'm gonna grab some sweet, sweet hi-hats. So here I loaded eight different hi-hat samples. Now we're gonna grab our random MIDI effect and we are going to drop it after our first drum rack but before our second drum rack. This random MIDI effect adds randomness to the pitch parameter, or in this case, it is going to add randomness to our samples because if we open up this little in out here, you can see that every sample is played on a note or a pitch. So when using random in conjunction with this drum rack, it is going to just be randomizing what sample is being triggered. I'm going to place my chance all the way up to 100. And chance here is the likelihood that my incoming MIDI note is going to be changed by a random pitch. And we can set the parameters for this random pitch by using our choices and scale. So we're going to set choices to the number of samples that we have. In my case, I have eight. So I'm going to put in eight choices and then choices will be multiplied by scale here. And then this number will be added to our initial value to set the parameters for our randomness options. All right, we have our random mode and our alt mode here. Using random, these samples will be triggered randomly and using alt mode, these will be triggered in order. So this first one will be triggered and then the next one and the next one, next one. And alt mode is technically like round robin style, but either alt or random, they both sound good depending on what you're looking for. And then sign here, we're just gonna keep it at add, but what this does is it basically allows us to add the randomness to pitches above our original sample or to pitches below, or to both if we're using by. All right, next we are going to drop the pitch MIDI effect before our random MIDI effect, and we're gonna drop down the pitch to octave, so negative 24 semitones, and this will make sure that our chains line up correctly when we trigger our drum rack. So something to keep in mind is that you want to keep pitch on negative 24 if you're using the alt mode. However, if you're using However, if you're using the random mode, you actually want to put pitch to negative 25. And this is because with random mode, it doesn't count the very first sample. Like it will never play the first sample that's triggered, so you want this first sample to be not one of the samples here, if that makes sense. All right. So now we see with random a different random sample is triggered each time. And if we set it to alt, it will be triggered in order. Cool, so let's put this to use and let's create a little drum rack. So we're going to double click to create a little drum clip and let's make a two bar loop and load in some little kick snares. Cool snare, lit kick. Just gonna noodle something on in, see how it sounds. Then we're gonna throw in some little hi-hats, just hit my little B to select my draw tool. Gonna draw across some 16th note hi-hats and let's see how it sounds. So when we use alt, you'll notice we have a more predictable rhythm and pitch structure. And then when we go to random, it's a little bit more all over the place. Cool. So that's just one way that you can use a round robin situation but there are many more options than just using it for your hi-hat. So feel free to be creative. Hopefully this sparks some ideas. So if you're like, Ur, I know what I'll do with that. Please drop a comment below and let me know how you use the round robin. 
And if y'all learned something, if this made you smile, I would so appreciate a little like or subscribe. It would help me with my ego and the algorithm. So please do, um, yeah, subscribe and come back for more. Thanks, fam.